Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Carly and I also go by Carly B Sims on both Tumblr and TikTok. Today we are going to be playing episode 4 of Oasis Diaries. First of all, I want to say thank you so much for all the love and support on the previous three episodes or the first three episodes. I'm so happy you guys are enjoying this let's play just as much as I am. Now, if you guys are up to date, you would have seen in the last episode that Val has come to the conclusion that she and Theo need to call it quits with their woohoo arrangement and just keep things professional because it's getting a little too messy and unprofessional at work like woohooing in the closet not a very good look if they get caught also will called her while she was at the spa with the girls and he said that he wants to pursue her more seriously because they currently have a woohoo partnership going on but i think he wants to end that and pursue a proper romantic relationship with her which she did agree to and i think a part of her agreed to that because one, she does actually apparently love Will, if you saw from the first episode. Apparently she's in love with Will and with Theo, or she was in the past. And two, I think she wants to distract herself with Will because she's been <laughs> thinking about Theo so much and she needs to take her mind off him. So we are going to see how that goes. Today, Will is actually going to be taking her on a lunch date. So it's 7.20 a.m. in the morning. Val's just getting a quick workout in. She's going to do some cardio and then some boxing. And then she'll get ready for her date with Will. So he just messaged her quickly this morning and just asked if she was doing anything today for lunch. And she said no. So he asked if she wants to go to Organic Bliss, which is a vegan restaurant actually on the same block. So of course she said yes. And she's going to see how things go because they're actually going on a proper date with the woohoo partnership will usually just came over to val's they need some takeout or cook some dinner watch something woohoo and then call it a day they are good friends though so of course they had some good conversation and everything like that and i guess feelings just grew along the way but this is different since they're actually going out to a restaurant on a formal date so she's really excited to see how things go all right i think she's gonna finish up on the rower machine these exercise machines the elliptical and the rower machine is by flow fit or by sim realist and it's part of the flow fit mod so we're gonna do some boxing now because i did say i wanted her to get into boxing and she's got her black gloves look at her cute little outfit <laughs> fire no way no way where's the fire she's running towards it i'm scared is it good oh uh... <gasps> oh my gosh <laughs> i can't believe i can't believe the way this just started off okay let's extinguish him come on don't just stand there our neighbor was just on fire oh my gosh my neighbors just can't do anything can they bye have a great time I can't believe he ran away and left Val to deal with the fire. Surely that's gonna extinguish. I can't believe this is what we're dealing with in the morning. All right, we're gonna throw that away. Val got 1,050 simoleons. Oh, that's actually a good amount to replace that. Usually they don't give us enough. Oh. <laughs> okay, it's for that. I'm gonna add that 1,600 back because that shouldn't come out of our own pocket. And the 1,000 simoleons already went to replacing the dryer and laundry. Man, Val's cleaning the floor, but this is not her job. She's going to mention this to Will when she sees him on the day. I can't believe we just started the episode off like that. We were going to have a nice, peaceful start to the episode and then a fire happens. Okay, well, that cut her workout short, but... <gasps> and then he goes into the sauna! He's so unhinged! He's on fire and then you go in the sauna? I don't I don't think that's any good. Shouldn't you like take an ice bath or something? Okay, anyways. Wait, she's talking to Theo. Why are they always talking in the laundry? They're having like a neighborhood chat. She looks a bit awkward with him. He's gonna be like, hey, have you been avoiding me? She's gonna be like, um, I don't know what you're talking about. He's like, you've been acting weird ever since the club. I don't know what you're talking about. I haven't been avoiding you. You've been avoiding me. But in reality, she's actually been avoiding him. Every time she leaves and walks into the hallway and he's there, she just turns back and goes into her apartment because she's just been feeling a little bit awkward since Saturday. Anyway, we're going to go back and start getting ready. We're going to take a brisk shower and start getting ready for our date. But yeah, she has been avoiding Teddy a little bit because she knows she needs to talk to him about everything. Oh, actually, Will's texting. 
He's asking to hang out at the flea market, but I'm just gonna pretend that he's saying, you know, um, are you ready? I'm gonna leave soon. I'll probably be there in like 40 minutes. So Val is now putting on some makeup. She's just showered and she's just getting ready for her date now. Ooh, I'm gonna get rid of this ashy moodlet. I got the... I don't know which mod it is, but I got the mod for like the body care stuff. And so when she showers, she gets ashy. But for some reason, I can't use the lotions to get rid of the ashiness. It's just not working when I try to use it. So I'm not really sure what I'm doing wrong with that mod. Anyways, we will have our talk with Teddy soon because they also need to talk about the article that they're going to be writing together. And Teddy will definitely need to, you know, brief her on that and how it's going to go and how it'll work out. Oh! He's here! He said hello, anyone home? It looks like Will's actually here while she's getting ready. He's not supposed to be in this outfit, but I guess we'll invite him in. So I will have her talk to Teddy at some point in this episode. I don't know, set some boundaries. Oh, That's what we need to do, just set some boundaries. Oh, he's not going to be wearing this. He's going to be wearing his usual like white button up. Oh my gosh, he wants to have a quickie. So we are now at the restaurant, as you can see, we are at the restaurant Organic Bliss. This is a CC lot that I downloaded from EV Sims on Tumblr. I will leave the links to it below if you guys would like to download it for yourself. How cute is Val's outfit, guys? It's the perfect lunch date ensemble. She's wearing her Loewe bag with a cute knit dress. I don't know who this random is. A cute stripy knit dress and some flats to match the brown of the bag. It's so cute, guys. She's so pretty. I actually can't. I love this outfit so much. And Will is wearing his usual business clothes. Okay, we're going to get a mimosa for Val. And what are we going to get? for will what does he feel like i think he's just gonna have a matcha tea have something earthy today and this is a vegan restaurant so val is very experimental with her food and she loves to have a range of different kinds of meals so she loves having a plant-based meal here and there so with that being said what are we gonna order them i think will's gonna try the roast tofu chicken this is a very new territory for him and what are we going to get val tabbouleh salad Faux lobster, that's interesting. Spinach frittata. Okay, so it's a bit of like, it's a lunch date. So something not too heavy. I'm thinking, I'm kind of thinking we just get the sushi actually. We're gonna get some avocado maki rolls. And we have to socialize about our meal, request our table. We've already done that. I'm gonna take that off because I don't know why it didn't take off. Have Sims become playful at the same time. So this is a very, so this is a first official date for them. So I hope it goes well. They're just gonna order with the waiter right now. Who looks very earthy. I did give them custom uniforms as well for the staff. Oh, what's she gonna do? She already has a romantic interaction queued up. She's gonna compliment his appearance. She should probably tell him about the... She should tell him about the fire, actually. Can we tell a dramatic... Tell unbelievable story. She's gonna be like, you won't believe what happened. Ty set the laundry room on fire. Oh my gosh, why did they just glitch? I hate when my sims do that. Okay, Josie said, remember when we talked about Salim Benali? We went on a very nice date. Congrats. Okay, they just reset it for some reason, but apparently our food's still coming. So I hope they don't forget about it. So we need to have Sims become playful at the same time. And they just need to socialize in general. Anyway, before they glitch, she did tell him about the fire. He's like, oh my gosh, I'm going to have the dryers looked into to make sure that doesn't happen again. But this is why I say to clean the lint tray to prevent fires like that. Trip. Okay, so they're boy? quite flirty. Oh, is there a toilet in here? Also, this is a overview of what the restaurant looks like. Oh, guys, wait, there's a downstairs? <gasps> I didn't even know that. 
Also, I don't think I have the CC for this because that looks a little weird, but Val needs to use the toilet right now. So she's just going to quickly do that. So we're going to use the toilet and hopefully her food is there by the time she gets back. Oh, guys, our food's here already. Will's going to dig in before she gets back. Guys, look how good her mimosa looks. Hurry up, Val. Oh, he's just starting alone. Oh, he's already dug into his- he's already digging into his- Oh my gosh! His chicken looks like it's halfway done! Val, hurry up! Okay, I think she's done and she's on the way back. Oh my gosh, no! Will finished his meal! No way, Val, you took too long! Okay, so Val is- back and oh she looks like she loves the look of her food oh he's a generous sim i don't know what that interaction was but it has something to do with him being a generous sim do you like your mimosa it says hot lunch date she got a hot lunch date moodlet what does this say just call me cupid from hooking up other sims that must be from josie and salim benali going out on a date another co-worker okay let's just talk to each other let's flirt with each other can we talk about like the flavor discuss flavor profile there we go oh we need to socialize about the meal three times that's a lot is there any more interactions? Oh, and woohoo partnership. I don't know if that's gonna cause a negative interaction. Just gonna flatter him. Okay, they're at seven out of 10 interactions. Hopefully they just get a gold star. Talk about fantasies. Where are you guys going? Oh, they have to get up to chat, seriously. I hate when they have to do that. Well, I mean, they're done eating anyway. Wait, why are you standing right there listening to them? I think he's gonna kiss her as well. Let's kiss her hands. Just do something decent like that. Oh, he wants to ask Valentina on a date, but that's what you're doing right now. I asked from his perspective as well. Aww. They're so cute. He's like, how about we go back to your place after? Okay, so now we have to kiss our date. Okay, we're gonna oh. kiss her properly now because they're pretty much done with their lunch. It's around 5, nearly 6 p.m. And he has suggested to go back to her place. She's gonna be like, you know, how can we never go to yours? He's like, oh, you know, my house isn't free right now. Like, I'm undergoing some renovations and your place is closer to my work, which is why it's just always easier to stop by yours. You don't mind, do you? And she's gonna be like, no, of course not. We always go to mine. I'm fine with that. She's like, how are the renovations going? He's gonna be like, oh, you know, they're okay. Not a big deal, but, you know, the house just isn't in a state right now to have any guests. What's he gonna do? He's gonna compliment her appearance as he should. Apologaba. And we'll probably just do like one more romantic interaction, like kiss her neck because they're probably getting excited to go home together. And then we're going to end the meal and pay Bill from his pocket. He's like, I can't wait to get home and in the privacy of your bedroom. Okay, wait, he got another whim. He wants to woohoo with her. Oh my gosh. I'm... I'm not gonna pin the Ask Valentina on a date because he literally just did that. Okay, well, these two are ready to go home. They got a silver medal, so that's not bad. And I think he got a new sentiment with her. Perceived as extremely attractive. Um, he's smitten with her. Oh, that's so good. Will can't explain it, but he is really enamored with Valentina. And the sight of her makes Will's heart beat faster. <gasps> That is so cute. Okay, well, these two are gonna go back to her place now and just enjoy some private time together because we gotta tick off this whim, clearly.
as you guys would have seen, Val and Will went back to her place last night. They got it on, they did the nasty. And the next day, Will actually stuck around instead of going home while she was asleep. He decided to cook her some breakfast and surprise her and make her some coffee. And she was very happy and very appreciative of the gesture. So as of now, she's very impressed with all of Will's efforts to show her that he is seriously pursuing her. And I just think they're on a good track right now. So we'll see how things continue to progress between them. Today, Val will actually be working from home and Will will be leaving soon to head off to work himself. Okay, so I'm gonna get Will to start cleaning up his meal because he's done. So technically Val has to take a vacation day from work, but we're just treating that as her taking a work from home day instead of going into the office. I'm just going to have Val focusing on writing today. So she's 75% done with her daily task of writing books. I think she's just gonna get started on that and just finish up because she doesn't have much more to go. And then we'll publish her books. Do we still have her fame point or do we lose it? Okay, we still have our fan point. We might lose it if we don't publish something soon. And it's apparently rebate day, but I'm not really gonna do anything with that, so I'll just probably put that away. And get Will to clean that up for Val because she's getting straight into work. Guys, he's in full boyfriend mode. I am very impressed with his efforts. Oh. Okay. So what do you guys think about Will and Val? Let me know. Okay, seriously, I'm trying to root for you as well. What are you doing? Put it in the bin. Oh my gosh, I guess he can't go outside. Oh, it's because I locked this. All right, well, I guess Will's going to go home now or go home and get ready for work. And then he's going to take the trash out in the process. Oh my gosh, guys, I was going to have Will leave. And why does he always run into Teddy in the hallway? I can't. He must be working from home today as well. But guys, look. Bombastic side eye. Criminal offensive side eye. Teddy is eyeing him up. I'm gonna have him talk to him and just like, I don't know, just like ask how his day's going. So I'm gonna have him do some small talk with him. Ask about his day. Oh my gosh. He doesn't like him. Look at Teddy's face. He couldn't care less. Oh my gosh, wait. He's okay. Okay, wait. No, he's so angry. He doesn't want to talk to him. Why? Tell me why Ty Michaels always pops up everywhere. <gasps> Do you see that? He does not. He's literally like brushing him off. They're having a tense conversation and Teddy's literally ignoring him. Wait, I actually think that they have a sentiment. I have to double check. I think I saw this. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Yep. Theo has a festering grudge against Will. Oh my goodness. I think this is because he knows what's going on between... Like, he obviously knows what's going on between Will and Val. Uh -huh. That's crazy. Oh, mail has been delivered. But why do these always happen right in front of Val's apartment while she's not... While she's completely oblivious to it. Well, anyways, it looks like Teddy's walked away, but I can't. He's so salty towards Will, guys. Oh no, celebrity level lost. That was too late. Okay, well, that's some tea between Will and Theo. That's so funny. They're so bitter towards each other. Oh my gosh. Wait. Her romance is higher with Theo than it is... Wait, guys, I just realized that her romance is higher with Theo than it is with Will. I didn't even know that. Okay, that kind of makes sense since... She's kind of letting Will pursue her to be distracted from Teddy. But in the process, I think, you know, I think it's working out well for them. Ah. And she's growing even deeper <laughs> feelings for him. But I didn't realize that she loved Theo even more than Will. But they do have way less friendship, whereas she's almost at max friendship with Will. Okay, I hope she finishes writing soon. We've ticked off the daily task, guys. Ah. So we should be getting a promotion in the next episode when we play at The Office. And then after she finishes writing that, okay, she's officially finished <laughs> writing that. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go downstairs and I'm going to publish it. Sell to publisher. We've actually got two books. I thought I published the other one, but I guess not. Oh, and Isla's out here. Oh, look at Will. He's just doing some maintenance. Oh, no, he isn't. Yeah, go away, Will. You can't even put away the rubbish properly. She's a one-star celebrity again. Okay, great. Wait, is she a notable newcomer then? 
Is she still a notable newcomer? Okay, I think she still is. Yes, she is. She gained it back. <gasps> Guys, Elliot Hayes said, I don't want to pass moral judgment, but I heard that you were caught cheating on your partner. You should try to keep your private affairs more private. What? That is, that is not fair. I don't know if he's talking about her being probably seen around town with Will or her flirting with Elliot at the club and Theo getting mad. It's definitely to do with Theo getting mad at her, but she's not in a relationship with anyone. Let me double check these. Okay, they're lovers, but they're not boyfriend and girlfriend. Let's check with Theo because it's definitely to do with like pissing Theo off. Yeah, they're, they're nothing. They're lovebirds, but they're not in an actual relationship together. And if he's talking about the club incident, he's the one that she was flirting with. So he's a little bit of a hypocrite there. That doesn't make any sense. I do not agree with that. Um, let's pay our rent and pay the bills. Oh, more money out of our pocket. And let's also get our mail. I think our mail was probably just to do with the bills anyway. Guys, look at all these books she has published. How good is this? Oh, She's gonna make so much money as we continue to publish more books. And I think of these books as like her articles for Walrus Media. She's aiming to be a journalist. So I kind of think of this more as like little projects or articles for a blog or something like that. And then she earns money on them. Okay, so it is around 1.30 p.m. And Valentina has just been kind of tidying up her apartment, just cleaning it since she always complains that it's dirty. So what I'm gonna have her do now is just change into an everyday outfit. Just get her ready for the day, check herself out, get her feeling good. This is the outfit she's wearing. It's a very cute summery outfit, her little button up, her white linen shorts, and then some cute sandals to match. And I'm gonna have her go here I'm also going to have her brush her teeth and get her feeling confident because I think after that amazing date with Will and him making breakfast for her, she's feeling more determined now to just set some boundaries with Teddy. And after she brushes her teeth, I'm going to have her use some of her perfume. And just make sure she feels extra confident. Okay, so we're feeling good. Let's go outside and I think we're going to visit his unit. Yeah, we're going to visit his unit and have a proper conversation with him because I think it's best if they sit down in private and just talk to each other. Look, he's working on his stuff again. Oh my gosh. It is It is here. Why is your face like that? Oh, uh, that's because you're recording. So we've arrived at Teddy's, and the first thing I notice... Thetis in his apartment! Why is Thetis in his apartment? And also, why is she part of the group? I'm actually so confused. She's on his laptop, or she's working from here, I don't know what she's doing. But she's literally at Teddy's apartment. I don't even see Teddy. Wait, I don't even see him anywhere. I guess they're that- they're that familiar with each other. <gasps> okay, I wasn't expecting this to happen. Has she knocked on the door? Okay, I think she's already knocked on the door. So I guess she's gonna come inside. And... Oh my gosh, Thetis just minding her own business. She's gonna talk to her. Let's just get to know her. Um... I don't know, discuss recent reads. And she's gonna be like, oh, hey, what are you up to? Oh, dag dag. And she's just gonna be like, I was just looking for a Teddy. Have you seen him around? And she's like, oh, I don't know. He just stepped out for a bit. I'm just hanging out at his place. She's like, oh, I didn't know you guys were friends. And she's like, of course, we're neighbors. She's like a little sus, you know? Maybe, I wonder if we can ask her about him. Ask? Can we ask about another sim? Okay, let's ask about Theo and see what she says. I don't think these two have a romantic relationship anyways, so I don't really know what to expect. What will she say? She's just gonna be like, oh, so what's your relationship with Theo? Okay, she did a little thumbs up. I like Theo, he is pretty cool. Okay, that doesn't tell me much. But she's literally hanging out in his place with him not in it. 
So Pretty they're fun. obviously very oh. comfortable with each other. I can't believe that. Wait, where even is Teddy? He's in the laundry, just staring at a pile of dirty laundry. Oh no, clean laundry. Maybe he was just collecting his laundry? I don't know. Okay, he's... Maybe he should come upstairs. Um, let's just go up here and talk to them. Because he doesn't know that Val's over. Guys, I actually didn't place the T here. I am just as shocked as you are. Okay, so let's have him talk to Val. What are you guys smelling? There's- His kitchen is empty! There's nothing here! What are you smelling? Okay, he's gonna talk to Val. Flirt. No, we're gonna just do a friendly and ask about her day. I mean, they're getting along pretty well. Why are you blowing a kiss? I said ask about day. Who are you blowing a kiss to? Okay, anyways, he's gonna be like, oh, Val, what are you doing here? I wasn't expecting you. How's your work from home day? And she's, oh, would you say Theo likes silly behavior? Sure. She's just gonna say, oh, I was actually looking to talk to you about the article. I didn't know you had guests over. She's just gonna say, oh, I was wondering if we could just brainstorm or something or set out a plan or outline what we're gonna be doing in the article. I really value the time we spend together. I think it's made us closer than ever. Huh? You guys were arguing each other with each other so much in the last episode. What? These sims are so confusing. Wait, guys, he lost the drifting love sentiment he had. Wait, okay. I guess they're in a better place now. I don't know. She's like, well, I can see you're busy. Maybe I should just go. And I think Titi's gonna be like, oh, I was just finishing up. I'm gonna leave soon anyways. You guys, you know, you guys chat about whatever you want to chat about. So I think Titi's gonna go home. Oh my gosh, wait. She's literally walking out and I didn't even tell her to walk out. Why is this game working out perfectly? Wow, the game's listening to me. Okay, anyways, now that they're alone... Wait, I just... No, she's back! She's back with his laundry! Okay, maybe Titi was like, Oh, I was gonna go, but I just thought I'd bring you your laundry real quick. Wow, why is she in full wifey mode? Okay, I think now Titi's gonna go. Okay, she's like, see ya, brought you your laundry, bye. Okay, let's get him to... Okay, I'm just gonna leave that. I'm gonna get him to lock the door because I don't want them to like leave and interrupt the conversation. Um, everyone, so no one comes in so that Thiti can't come up with more laundry. And he's gonna be like, all right, Val, what did you really want to talk about? Sentiments about Theo! Wait, that's not new. Why did that pop up? Or is it just showing me my old sentiments? Okay, whatever. Anyways, she's gonna talk to him. Can we do a deep conversation? Yeah, let's have a deep conversation with him. She's gonna say, so I've been thinking. I think we need to keep things more professional between us. I think we should call it quits with all this woohooing we've been doing and especially doing it in the office. It's not good for both of us. I don't want either of us to get into trouble. And he just seems to be very okay with it. He's just listening to her. He seems very receptive to what she's saying. Um, what else can we do for the interactions? Why, why are you talking about woohoo? Smooth apology. She'll do a smooth apology and just apologize for everything that happened at the club and all the tension between them lately. Oh, why is he acting all high and mighty now? Yeah, I just think it'll be the best if we stay as co-workers so that we can focus on this article and not have any distractions. And he's gonna be like, yeah, sure, whatever you want. So I guess he's kind of just brushed it off. I think that was a good conversation. I think he took it pretty well. I think Val was worried for nothing and avoiding him for nothing anyways. Oh. Let's just try not to get into any situations that could set us up for failure. On another note, let's try to- and I, oh. No, we're not gonna do that. Let's see if we can discuss work. Yeah, I can discuss work. All right. So she's gonna talk about work with him. She's like, now that that's out of the way, let's talk about this article. So what do you have in mind? And they're just gonna talk about what sections they're gonna work on. So for this article, Teddy's going to be the main writer because he is the main front page writer. And Val will contribute because she's going to be writing a smaller section of it. Still a significant contribution. Wait! Wait, guys, Theti just texted us, passing moral judgment, like the same text that Elliot sent us. 
Everyone's judging us for being a cheater. I'm so confused. We just saw you and you acted completely <laughs> fine with us. And now Who's you're saying, I don't want to pass moral judgment right before you pass moral judgment. Okay, anyways, I'm so sick of everyone thinking she's a cheater. I just want to see her sentiments with DT. They have bad compatibility. They have bad compatibility and they don't have any weird sentiments. So first Elliot, now DT. And it's not like her and Theo even have that tense sentiment anymore. Also, I did want to show you guys, when I was playing from his perspective, I noticed he has the sentiment with Will. So it says here, Will slept with a sim who was in an exclusive relationship with Theo at the time. What a couple breaker. So this is why everyone's calling Val a cheater. I'm so weirded out by this because Theo and Val have literally never dated even in Brightchester. They never actually dated. So I don't know why Theo's claiming that she was his partner or something. So apparently he's fine with Val. Why are you blowing a kiss? Why are you blowing a kiss? No, he's so weak to you. Stop it. See, once one of them starts, they keep going. They just keep going. Girl, stop. You need to abort. Leave. Okay, good. Distract yourself with some food. She's going to take his food. Okay, just eat, but stop blowing kisses at each other. All right, she's eating his leftovers. All right, let's do a goodbye. She's gaining cr Guys, they keep doing romantic interactions. Can't get enough of you. She got a can't get enough of you moodlet from feeling flirty with someone nearby. Okay, so I think she said goodbye to Teddy. Also, don't forget that he literally just had DT over. Who knows what they were doing before you arrived, girl. But yeah, we're gonna go home now. Maybe give him a friendly hug. Ask to just be friends? <gasps> Wait, that's perfect. Let's ask to just be friends. Wait, before she leaves... Maybe let's just make this whole conversation Shish. official and ask to just be friends. <laughs> Why didn't I see that interaction earlier? I forgot that that was a thing. Okay, Valentina and Theo have decided to cool off their romantic relationship. Wait, I'm kind of sad. <gasps> no! No, it's gone completely. <laughs> she has a blow kiss queued up. Even though the romance is gone. Okay, you know what, guys? I am sad that all of the romance that just naturally grew is gone. Because I just don't believe that that would happen. But they are attracted to each other no matter what I do. So it doesn't even matter if I say ask to just be friends. Because they just can't help themselves. So in the future, we'll see how they go as co-workers. If they re-spark everything and whatever, then I'll let it happen. We'll let things happen naturally. At least we've got like a fresh start. And from here, if they decide to, I don't know, see each other behind the scenes and break their agreement, sure. But for now, we'll just leave it where it is because I think they're probably just going to find their way back to each other anyway. So we are now home. I'm going to get her to work on her needs. And she's probably just going to nap. I think having that conversation took a lot out of her. I think she's going to quickly send a text to... Josie, or I can't send a text. Oh, there we go. Send a happy text. All right, let's send a happy text to Josie real quick. What? Unknown caller, beware the shadows in your dreams for they hold your darkest secrets. I'm just gonna say, I'm not afraid of you. Okay, so she's gonna text Josie and tell her, by the way, made progress and told Teddy that we should call things off. He responded really well. Also, apparently him and Thiti are banging each other. <laughs> so she's gonna send that off. <laughs> And you know what? It's a good thing that the romance has cleared and DT is screwing with him because it just gives her even more excuses not to... Oh. Okay. Anyway, it gives it just gives her more of a reason not to pursue anything with Theo and just focus on her work. Also, she said, do you want to go to the cafe? I don't know what cafe this is. I agree, Valentina. It's a great day. Let's go out and enjoy the day. It's 7 p.m. Why do you want to go to the cafe? I'm going to say no to that. She's tired. She's like, okay, I know I texted you, but I need to get some sleep. I'm not going to the cafe right now. So we're going to have her go to bed, and I think we're going to wrap it up there. She does have work tomorrow at 8 a.m. She works Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. Like I said, we should be getting a promotion in the next episode. It's around 7 p.m. Wait, is she not even hungry? Oh, of course not. She took Theo's food. Of course she's not hungry. I just want to check that we have food in the fridge for tomorrow. Oh, clean out spoiled food. Maybe that's why she's always complaining about a filthy house. I'm going to also get my robot vacuum to return to dock. 
And let's just see what we have in the fridge. Do we need to do a food order for next episode? Let's see. Oh, okay. Everything's still in excellent quality. Okay, great. So we have lunch for tomorrow. And we have the leftovers from Will. And she also has some leftover samosa soup. Maybe she should have some dessert or something. She has these dried fruit crisps. Let's do some apple. I just want to see what that looks like. She's just going to have a little snack before bed. Also, is our bag packed for tomorrow? Let's place it here and double check. I'm just prepping everything. Okay, she has her journal. Oh, we got to do some journal writing. Just update everything that's happened. So let's write in our journal as well. And we have a fruit cup in here. Oh, does it not spoil in the bag? Because it's not spoiled yet. Okay, cool. Well, we have a fruit cup still. And then we just need to add some lunch in here. Next episode, when she goes off to work. Oh, look at her apple crisps. How cute. What's her mood lit? Delicious. Okay. Okay, she's going to write in her journal. Ah, Olava Doyim. And she's just going to be like, I'm really happy with how my conversation with Theo went. He seems to be on the same page and we've both agreed to just keep focusing on work. Also, she's level six of the writing skill. Amazing. Okay, so anyways, she said, I'm happy that we've decided to keep things professional. And now I'm excited about this opportunity because I don't have to stress out about working so closely with Theo anymore. I think we're going to get along a lot better and hopefully we don't get into any more distractions or heated arguments or things like that. I'm feeling really good about this new chapter for us and I'm excited to see how things go with Will and see where that takes me because he's shown up really well so far and I really appreciated the breakfast he made me and the effort he's been putting in. So I have a good feeling about Will. And let's throw that away after. Manji. Filthy surroundings. Why does she still have the filthy surroundings? I don't understand. I literally emptied out your fridge. What else do you want me to do, woman? Cleaning frenzy. Okay, watch me press cleaning frenzy and she'll spray her nightstand. And then the mood lit goes away. We'll see. Alright, she's nearly finished writing. And then we need to change into our PJs. Oh. You squeaked. Right. Try not to squeak. Okay, throw away your apple crisp and let's see what this cleaning frenzy will make you do. Let's see what's so filthy about your apartment. Show me what the issue is. Oh. Also, who is this? Go away. I don't know who you are. And where's she gonna go? To the mailbox? To the bin? Okay, she wanted to empty the bin out. All right. And put it on the floor. Why don't you know where to put it? Do we not have a dumpster? We have a dumpster. We have a dumpster out here. Why is it so nasty? I don't remember putting a nasty dumpster out here. Okay. Well, why can't she throw this out? Oh, okay. She's going outside. <gasps> Elliot wants to hang out. Elliot wants to hang out and go to the club. <gasps> Do I say yes? Oh my gosh, guys. Uh, guys, I think I think we're going to say yes, but maybe we'll save it for the next episode. Okay, so I think we're going to save the rest for the next episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. We'll see if Valentina goes to the nightclub with Elliot in the next episode or not. I don't know. We'll see what happens between those two. I definitely was not expecting a late night call from him on a Monday night, actually. I think we did everything we needed to in this episode. She tested the waters with dating Will or at least going on a first date with him. And that turned out really well. So she's happy with that. She's happy happy with turning over a new leaf with Teddy. I am very sad about all their romance disappearing. I wasn't expecting that to happen. I just feel a little bit heartbroken because I low-key really like Theo for her. I don't know, they just have such undeniable chemistry, but I think it's okay because even after they lost all the romance, they still kept flirting with each other. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. We'll just have to see how things unfold in the next few episodes. Let me know your thoughts on this one and everything that's happened in the plot or story so far. Let me know 
what you think and what you guys think about Will, Teddy, Elliot, or even just what you think about Val and her life. She's a little bit of a messy sim. She's got her own character flaws and I like that about her. So I can't wait to see you guys in the next episode. I'll speak to you then. Bye.